Well, a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter is revealing bombshell details in his upcoming book, putting NBC News in a bad light. One America's Janesh Agagas has more on how his novel contradicts statements made by the network. A highly anticipated tell-all book reveals a trail of sexual misconduct settlements within NBC News. Speaking to NBC News Friday, author Ronan Farrow detailed parts of his new book, Catch and Kill, revealing the troubled culture at the network. During that interview, he says he's seen a series of documents which show multiple secret settlements and non-disclosure concerning sexual misconduct against former Today anchor Matt Lauer. And I think this young woman, this journalist, Brooke Nevels, presents what I found to be a persuasive response to that. The facts of her case, which are backed by documentation and eyewitnesses, suggest that there was an encounter here that she consistently has described as non-consensual. One of the allegations was made by employee Brooke Nevels, who says Lauer raped her in a hotel room during the network's coverage of the 2014 Sochi Olympics. We spent several years reporting this out, extensively fact-checking it. Uh, what we show in this book, with a paper trail, with documents, is that there were multiple secret settlements and non-disclosures being struck with women at but NBC News. those were News. after the fact, weren't they, the two non-disclosures? Nope. Years before, over a period of six to seven years, a period in which NBC had previously On denied Matt Lauer? any settlements. There were seven non-disclosure agreements. Multiple ones of those were with Matt Lauer accusers. This is years before this incident with Brooke Nevels and the firing. And, and, and I spoke to senior executives who were told about those earlier incidents. With Matt Lauer. Indeed. This week, Lauer unequivocally denied the allegations, claiming it was consensual. Farrow, who has won a Pulitzer Prize over his bombshell reporting, also revealed he resigned from NBC after he was halted from reporting on the allegations against Harvey Weinstein. The 31-year-old says in 2017, he had enough evidence, including audio recording of Weinstein admitting to sexually assaulting a model, to further investigate sexual assault claims against Weinstein. However, the president of the network says actions of the now-in-battle director grabbing someone's breast years ago was not national news. The network ultimately said the story, which was later published on The New Yorker, did not pass editorial standards. The point here is not that we did indeed have multiple named women in every draft of this story. We did indeed have a taped confession from Harvey Weinstein. Uh, the point is that they ordered a hard stop to reporting. They told me and a producer working on this that we should not take a single call. They told us to cancel interviews. The question for years has been why? Because every journalist at that institution didn't understand why. And I think the book answers that question. This was a company with a lot of secrets. NBC chairman Andy Lack, who was also named in Farrow's book over other sexual misconduct claims, pushed back on those allegations, saying they were fundamentally untrue. And while the network continues to fight Farrow's credibility, the reporter says the book, which is already number one on Amazon's bestsellers list, will have to speak for itself. Janesh Chagagas, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.